have returned. Welcome back to the stream. That right there was Give Me Love, Give Me Peace on Earth by George Harrison, which I figured was a nice little light song to, um, you know, play considering the... I don't know, I'm, I'm in a much better mood today than I have been the past couple of weeks for some reason, and I think it might just have something to do with the fact that despite all the the hordeness that's been going on, it's actually been really nice out the past few days. Well, barring all the rain we had yesterday, but like, like overall, we... See, here's the irony that only occurred to me when I went for a walk earlier today, right? It was like, typically the last few years, we haven't had very many good springs, I don't recall, around here. And, like, this is the best spring I remember in the past few years. And it it's coming after we got hit with more snow than we've seen in decades, and now most everybody is stuck inside due to a pandemic anyway. So, the, there's that. But I suppose, at the very least, if you're fortunate enough to be close to some open-air areas, you can still go out for a nice little walk anyway. There's that. And I don't know, the other thing is, like, I, I, I was going to probably stream some Resident Evil 2. I was planning on doing that yesterday, as a matter of fact, but I was so goddamn tired. Like, I hadn't slept at all, and I still got up at 6 o'clock in the morning for some reason. Go figure. But, um... Today, I don't know, had a pile of sleep, pretty refreshed, had a nice little walk, and I thought, you know what, maybe we won't go for something as dark and dreary as Resident Evil 2, seeing as how it's such a lovely day, and then I just said, you know what, screw it, I'm going to buy Animal, uh, Animal Crossing New Horizons, though I've never played an Animal Crossing game before, and we're going to dive into that and see what that's like. Although the one thing I do have to say is that, holy crap, it's been so long since I've bought a brand new game, because when I bought it and saw how expensive it was, I was like, holy shit, that's how much games cost these days? <laughs> I usually wait a year or so at least, but I don't know. The last time I bought a game brand new, I think, would have been Red Dead Redemption 2. Yeah, yeah, I think that's the, that's the last time I got a game, and I got that day it came out, so. Anyway, without further ado, let's switch on over to our capture card. I've really got to figure out better lighting for this, because, I mean, it's so bright back there. But if I turn off that light, then my face would look even weirder. I don't know. I don't know, it's just, just technical things I need to work through. Without further ado, let's switch over to our capture card, dive into some Animal Crossing, and see what happens, shall we? Beach. Oh, look at the wee little island. Oh, you wee little island fella. Nook Incorporated, Des Desertertured Island Getaway Package. Piquette de Escapada a Isla Desiertes. Timmy! Good afternoon! We're so excited to have you here. Have you here? Let's be the first to congratulate you. My cat looked at me really weird when I did that. <laughs> what is this language which you speak? Let us be the first to congratulate you on your wise decision to sign up for this adventure. Welcome to the check-in counter for your deserted island getaway package. There's so much to look forward to, but first... Let us introduce ourselves. I'm Timmy with Nook Incorporated. Look at the, see, I, I've never played an Animal Crossing game before, but I, I just the one thing I do know about this Tom Nook fella, the the guy on the poster in the back, is the general joke that isn't really much of a joke is that he's like this cutesy brutal slumlord. So now he's just shipping us all out to an island, I guess, and just working us like dogs to get wealthy. That's what I assume. And I'm Tommy! <laughs> Am I his favorite customer? We'll be flying to the island with you to help get you settled. Think of us as your partners in, in it for the long haul, so let's get started, shall we? Now then, we'll need to look up your application. Can we have your name and birthday? Birthday? 
You can't change this. This can be seen by others during local online play. So pick an appropriate name. My name shall be Fuckwad. No, no, that's... Nintendo won't allow that. It will simply be Cap. Are you okay with Cap? World of Animal Crossing is welcome to all, so don't include personal info or offensive words. Okay. Might as well use my own birthday. I mean, I don't know why I'd use anybody else's birthday. That's not even my actual birthday, I fucked that up. When was I born again? Ah yes, September 19th, that's when I was born. Is September 19th your birthday? Well, last I checked. It's also Adam West's. Poor, poor Adam West. Cap, Cap, let's see. Oh yes, here you are. Our next step will be to take a picture of you, Cap. Oh, don't worry. Take as much time as you need to get yourself looking just the way you want. I, I mean, I've got a camera right here on the... Like... Go ahead, Timmy, do your worst. I mean, you know, let me let, let me accentuate my bald spot here. Yeah, let me. Yeah, yeah. See, see all the shiny forehead you got here. I'm gonna try not to break the camera. I'm sure. Please choose your style. My hair is long enough to uh, have a ponytail, but perhaps not. I am one pale motherfucker, but um, not that pale, I don't think. I do tan easily, so maybe we'll go with uh, the next step up. Hairstyle! <laughs> Head like a friggin' banana. And my hair has been put in pigtails before. This is what happened when you have nieces. I mean, honestly, so far that looks the closest to my actual hair. <laughs> you don't have a lot of options. I'm, I'm presuming there's more when you get further in, but... Yeah, I mean, I guess that right there is probably the closest to my actual hair. I suppose this is going to be changed later. I mean, my hair is really more of a dark brown, but let's go with black. That's usually what it comes out looking like. Eyes! I am one sleepy, sleepy looking bastard, so... Also, my eyes are blue. Well, they might be more of that blue. Well, let me Let me investigate this. What do you tell me, phone? Yeah, I think that's actually more like it. This is not going to look a thing like me. <laughs> and here I, here I am with my giant square eyes. This is me after playing way too much Pac-Man, which I'm not great at. It was me when I want to look cute, apparently. <laughs> this is me after drinking the giant tub of coffee I have in front of me. Nah, I gotta look like I am just horribly tired all the time. That's... I mean, I'm digging the tunes. It's very low-key and groovy. I mean, I guess. <laughs> do, I, do I want to look horrendously sleepy all the time, though? 
gonna make and, and why is it that practically all of them make you look shifty eyed? Even with such a simple palette to work from, I'm going to take forever and just character creation. And those aren't bad either, I guess. I know, it's either going to be those or the real tired ones, I think. Yeah. Yeah, let's be a sleepy looking motherfucker. Hmm. I mean, I've got, uh, I guess I've got me a bit of a rounded nose, so that might be the best thing to go for. And then I shall become the human beaver! No, no. Let's, uh, let's go with this math. That one's probably fun. And then I'll do this and I'll have everyone ask me who put the rouge in my cheeks, like my grandmother used to say. Nah, I think I'm good with that, thanks. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, if that one was a bit longer, that'd probably be a bit closer to me, but... I don't know what's going on with this. But no. No, I guess we'll stick with that. Yeah. Yeah, I guess we'll go with that for now. No doubt I'll gain more options when I find all sorts of crap. Does everything look okay? You can change your look later. Yeah, sure, we're good. Great, you're all set. All set. I'll just go ahead and add that picture to your records. Joke's on you. Doesn't look a thing like me. Right now, let's start talking about your new home. So exciting. Exciting. You see, we're quite proud of the work we've done to help you feel comfortable in your new life. Oh yes, in fact. If you want, you can even experience the seasons the same way you're used to them. What I mean is, we have islands in both the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere. We recommend choosing an island that has the same seasonal pattern as your current home. Now I'm just picturing that Tom Nook is like that friggin... Uh, that, that guy who ran the sugar plantation in Red Dead Redemption, Alberto Fassar. <laughs> What kind of hellhole is he going to be shipping me to? So tell me, Cap, where do you live now? Live now. I, I like how one one option is Europe and the other option is elsewhere. Um, elsewhere? Oh, haha. <laughs> Seems like a lot of folks live elsewhere. Let's see if we can narrow it down. North America. Ah, excellent! That information really helps us focus on just the right island for you. So naturally, we'd recommend that you relocate to an island in the Northern Hemisphere. There are a few more decisions to make. Does that, does that sound okay to you so far? So far? Southern Hemisphere! No, we're good. Very good. We have a number of lovely uninhabited islands in the Northern Hemisphere to choose from. I'm just picturing me going to an airport now myself and be like, hey, can you like ship me off to an uninhabited island anywhere in the northern hemisphere? That'd be great. Drop me in this godforsaken rock in the middle of the ocean. Now then, all our islands are approximately the same size and they're all quite natural. That seems like a lie. So don't worry about whether you'll have enough space or comfort. You can't go wrong. Just follow your instincts and choose an island with a layout that looks appealing. That's how I'd do it. I'll show you some maps now, and you can choose the best one for your new home. New home. They're all very square. We 
and you're giving me four options. I thought you said uh, you had a pile of... pile of these islands. And uh, now here's the question, where do I want to go? The decisions! The stuff! I think that one's out, because I think if the little square is meant to be where my home is, I think I'd rather be pretty close to a river. Um, this one has an island within the island, which is nice. And it's got like that little pool up top, so that's pretty cool too. Maybe I'll actually go for that one. Yeah. Although it also doesn't look like it's got a lot in the way of building space, but I think you can terraform the island afterwards? I don't know. Whatever. Let's go with this one. Screw it. Is this the island you want? Sure, why not? Wonderful choice. Now, anyone who's actually played the shit out of this ever since it came out, which was like a month ago, they're probably looking at this and it's like, Oh god, why? Why did he pick that island? The Fool! I can't wait to show it off to you. Ah, but before we depart, I have just one final question for you. If you could bring only one thing to you, with you to a, des a deserted island, what would it be? What would it be? A sleeping bag, a lamp, some food, something to kill time. Something to kill time, screw it. How interesting. Oh, I'm sorry, that was just a hypothetical question. Look, Incorporated will fully cover all of your basic needs. Yes, yes. I don't trust them. Cool. Any customers waiting to board should make their way to the gate at this time. Perfect timing. Come on. Let's all board the plane together. They're going, they're going to make sure I don't escape. Hello, everyone! Thank you for taking this chartered flight as part of Nook Incorporated's desert deserted island getaway package. Although I suppose I might need to do pilot voice. Uh, please sit back, relax, and enjoy a complimentary video presentation about deserted island life. That thing looks terrifying. What is that? <laughs> you too can be murdered by a giant kill bug. I will say this, the game this game does look pretty well pretty. Incorporated production. I'm beginning to think maybe I should have played some of the other games just so I can see what sort of person this Nook fella is. Because uh, all I know is just the common running joke that he's, like I said, a brutal slumlord. So am I going to get airdropped, or...? Dodo Airlines, that's not very reassuring, but okay. We're here! Now I know you must be incredibly exci excited to explore your new island home, but I have one small request. Would you please join us for a short orientation session in the nearby plaza? We need to indoctrinate you to our cult. Our fearless leader himself will be giving a presentation, so I'd hate for you to miss us. <laughs> We're heading there right now if you'd like to move the left stick to follow us. No. No, I'm going over here. I want to leave. 
Guess we should follow the others so we don't get separated. Hamlet! Follow the guides! Let's hustle! But I want this stick. Who are you? Canberra. We can chat later. I want to see where this is going. Why you look so angry? Ah yes, the big man himself. Alright, is that everyone? Let's see. Is Canberra here? And how about Hamlet? And there's Cap, of course. The only human among us. And we're going to use as food once we start running out. Great, we're all here. I'll turn it over to you, Mr. Nook. Our three adventurers are ready to get started. So, so are these two his children? And they call him Mr. Yes, yes. Very good. Very good. Let's see, how shall I begin? Yes, of course. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to your new island. My name is Tom Nook. And I am the founder and president of Nook Incorporated, yes, yes. Today is the first day of your new life on this pristine, lovely island, so congratulations! And this is a package deal, hmm? As such, Nook Incorporated staff will always be here to support you and ensure your comfort and safety. But, first things first, yes, yes. I'd like each of you to choose a spot of your own. It's the first step to putting down some real roots. I'd like you to dream big. I do have certain cons connections in construction and real estate and... Ah, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's just get started with a simple tent, shall we? Please collect your tent from Timmy or Tommy and then choose a spot to place it. Excuse me, I highly recommend picking up your tent from either Timmy or Tommy first. No. I'm going to sleep under the trees. You can't tell me what to do. Oh, hi, Cap. Oh, here you go, Cap. Your very own tent. <laughs> Once you find the perfect spot, press X to access your inventory. Then select your tent to place it. I, I can't do a Tommy Wiseau voice. Don't worry, you get a chance to see what it looks like before making your final decision. And you want a little breathing room, so take time finding a space that works for you. Oh, I suppose I should probably set you up with a map too. Once you've put up your tent, please find your way back here. Use your new map if you need it. Okay, so X puts the tent down, yeah? Oh, okay, so that's how we get the map to show up. Oh no, the map automatically shows up when, um... When you stop. Alright, so where's a nice little spot for me to set up? I kind of like the idea of being close to the river. I wouldn't mind being up there, actually, but I don't think I can get across. Ah yes, butt fruit. Otherwise known as peaches. Appears I can't do much of anything until I set the tent, tent up, though, is the thing. I don't know, I might set myself up next to the river mouth. I do like the idea of being close to the sea. What are you saying? Yo! Wait! I got it! Don't tell me. Your cab, right? See, I told you I had it! I'm Canberra. Gotta tell you, I'm excited to do this whole island thing. Nuh-uh. Wait, what? But you said you were, huh? 
Looks like we're both having trouble deciding where to set up our tents. I mean, it's a pretty big decision. Of course, no matter where we settle down on this island, at least we'll be neighbors. Four. Yeah, let's go up here. I'll just leap across the river so I can get as far away from you folk as I possibly can. Speaking of, where's this Hamlet fella? There. Yo! I'm Hamlet! Look up, right? Nice to meet you, Hammy. So, find a good place for a tent. I'm looking to pitch mine somewhere closer to, close to nature so I can train my body and soul, Hammy. Okay. You're weird. How about I put it up here on this rock? Can I put it up here on the rock? I'm too close to the water. I need more room. Of course, at the same time, I don't want to get rid of that, um, tree. Let me imagine this. Let's put on our thinking cap. Um, maybe not. The tree kind of seems to be in the way. Is this going to eliminate that tree? Because that would be kind of bad, wouldn't it? I have to do a little landscaping, but we can make this work. Should we go ahead? Ah, you know what? Screw it. Let's get rid of the... Let's get rid of the... Let's get rid of the tree, is what I was trying to say. Okay! I know what the hell I'm so excited about. I set up my tent! That's a big first step! Remember the last time I legitimately tried to set up a tent in real life? I failed miserably. Nothing new! Tom Nook still needs to tell me a few things, so I'll check this out later. What do you want? Ah, Cap! You must have found a suitable spot for your tent. Hmm? You're the first one back, so I suppose the others must still be searching for just the right location. You know, since we've already done some scouting, the others may appreciate your assistance. Yes, yes. In other words, I need to do everything for everybody. Already set up your tent, hey? Eh? I'm just still trying to find the perfect spot. I'll be doing some serious cardio, so it's got to have lots of fresh air. I think this spot will do the trick, but I don't know. What do you think, Cap? Looks good to me. You think so? Awesome. Okay then, how about we do a little visu visualization exercise together? If I put my tent here... Pretty cool, right? You know what? That's probably fine. I want as much distance between me and these weirdos as possible. Looks like we have a winner. I'm gonna put down six right here. Never look back, Hemi. That was a tough decision. You totally saved my glutes. Oh dear. I wonder how Canberra is doing. She might be having as much trouble as I was, so maybe you should go see if she needs help. Hamlet. Run! Canberra! I like how Canberra appears to be a koala. How very fitting. 
You already found a good spot, huh? I was trying to just feel for the best spot. I was having trouble because every spot feels like the best one. I couldn't just sit here thinking it over forever, so I grabbed a stick and threw it. And here's where it landed. So now this is my spot. Okay, I know there's only so far I can throw the skit, uh, throw the stick, but I'm liking this. Fine. For real, no? Nah. Well, if you're sure. Actually, let's think about this a little. If I put my tent here. Yeah, sure, it's fine. From now on, this just won't won't be just anywhere on the island. It's gonna be my home, sweet home. I know I'm varying wildly in the voices I'm doing for these things, but can't believe I got such an awesome spot. You rock, nah. Hold up. Does this mean you helped Hamlet with his tent too? Oh. You're a seriously awesome person, and we're all going to be looking to you to do all of our crap for us now. And I gotta be honest, when we first got here, I was kind of worried there were way too few of us. But if we get to live here with someone like you, I can totally rest easy. Oh, everyone else is probably waiting on us. Let's get back to the plaza, huh? -uh. Why you look so angry all the time, Canberra? Welcome back, everyone. I hope you all found just the right spots to set up your new homes. Of course, you can sleep on it for a while, hmm? Really get a feel for how it suits you. And with that taken care of, we can move on to more serious business. Like throwing an island warming party. We'll have it right here in the plaza with a roaring campfire. We d we'll just need a few supplies to get started, yes? Since we'll all be living here together, this will be a good test of our teamwork. Let's see. Timmy, Canberra, Tommy, and Hamlet can set up things here in the plaza. Meanwhile, Cap and I will work on gathering firewood and perhaps a little snack. Alright, everyone, let's go to it. Cap, would you come see me for a moment? This is when he tells me his dark plan. Leave the setup to us. We'll be counting on you to get the supplies. Please check with our boss, Tom Nook, about what supplies we'll, we'll need. <laughs> this campfire is going to be epic! I can't wait, Hammy! I'm going to go big on setting up this plaza. No way I'm going to let you show me up. Nuh-uh. Okay, I just wanted to go over what we'll need for the campfire. I think roughly ten tree branches should do the trick. You can find them scattered about the island. So when you find one lying on the ground, just press Y to pick it up. Meanwhile, I'll investigate the peach-like items growing in the trees. I suspect they're real peaches. I mean, possibly. No, 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 they're ass roots. They're bum balls. I like how I'm wearing what almost appears to be like some sort of child sailor outfit. Oh, we're good. I got your freaking sticks. Oh, welcome back. I trust you had some success foraging for tree branches? Very well. Allow me to lighten your load and then take all the credit for it. Yes, yes. That should be plenty for our campfire. You made quick work of that. I'm quite glad that I'll be sharing this desolate island with such a hard worker. Oh, oh no. And speaking of surviving on a desolate island, our next task is to round up something to snack on. While you were collecting branches, I was evaluating the fruit that seems to be abundant here, but you didn't move. They look like peaches, they smell like peaches, and they even taste like peaches. In fact, they are 100% without a doubt genuine peaches. 
So will you collect six of them for me? I'm sure that you don't need much guidance here, but just in case. If you see a tree growing peaches, you can press A to shake it, and then just pick the fruit up. I'm sure you'll have plenty of peaches for us all in no time. So we're just going to sit around and eat peaches all day? I mean, having a diet of nothing but fruit is probably going to ruin our innards. Just saying. Well, well, I knew you were the right one for the job. Thank you once again. Go ahead and take those peaches off your hands and get started on the preparations. I mean, I was just out in the woods, Nook, and all I found were these berries. They look pretty poisonous. And he forces them to me. How do they taste? How do they taste, Cap? Taste good? They taste like burning. Now, is that everything? Yes, yes, I believe it is. How the hell did you make that? Okay, well, I guess the branches were just for the, uh, the, the, the fire itself and somebody else got the logs, so at the very least I'm not doing all the hard work. Let's get started with the festivities! Now we must do our ritual dance and chant around the fire! God, I hope we don't end up getting a pig villager on this island because they should run like hell. This is gonna go full on Lord the Flies before we're finished. At last, allow me to properly welcome you to New Island. I have participated in many ventures and endeavors over the years, but this may be the most exciting. Helping develop a, thrive a thriving new community entirely from scratch will truly test my business acumen. And perhaps my skills as an outdoorsman, hmm? Oh. Now, we may not have the kind of numbers that I originally envisioned. That just means we'll have to rise to the challenge. And I have no doubt that, with hard work and perseverance, we'll shape this deserted island into... Because we can't call this a deserted island anymore, hmm? But what should we call it? You're gonna ask me, aren't you? I sense a great opportunity! As the first residents of this island, we should be the ones to name it. And in the spirit of democracy, we should put it to a vote. Majority rules. Take a little time to think, and when everyone is ready, I'll present your ideas. I didn't think about this. What am I going to name this island? Hmm. I can call it? Dessert Island. No, I don't know. Maybe not Dessert Island. Oh Jesus, this is going to be tough. Made all the worse by the fact I can't rename the damn thing. Hmm. Hmm, curious, curious, curious. Oh hell, you know what? It, it's not terribly creative. I, I, I reread this one Discworld book, Jingo, recently, and the, there's a major conflict within the book about this island that just pops up out of the sea called Leshp. So there we go. That's what this is. This is Leshp. Jingo's a good book. You should read it. I just gotta double check to make sure I spelled that right.
Let me just make certain. Lesh is apparently also a um, hardware seller. Whatever, it's still going to be called Lesh. Boom. Are you okay with Lesh? The world of Animal Crossing is welcoming and all, it's just so don't include personal info or offensive words. Yeah, we'll go with it. All right, is everyone ready? Let's try saying our ideas all at the same time. Ready? Go! Nookits. These are the biceps. A splendid variety, yes, yes. Each one a potential gem. Now for the voting. I'll say each name in order and you can clap for which one you think is best. Cap seems to have the enthusiasm and the naming sensibilities. Let's start there. So Cap suggested... Lesh. None of you care for your own names? I suppose if everyone is in agreement, we could just go with Lesh. It rocks! Splendid! And from now on, this island will be known as Leshp. And we just need to go out fishing for curious squid. And worry about incursions of terrible things from the dungeon dimensions. Well, Cap, since you've proven yourself by naming Leshp, I'd like to rely on you for other critical decisions we'll need to make on this island. So in other words, I'm... Well, I was gonna say Mayor, but... Yes, yes, I hereby name you the resident representative of Leshp. Cap, could you please say a word or two as the new spokesperson for your neighbors? A word or two! Hmm, so. They seem like they were too, way too keen on that for some reason. We've settled on a name for our island and we've selected our resident representative. It's been a big day, but it's gotten rather late, so let's have a toast. Everyone have a beverage in hand? This fresh juice made from peaches, our new resident representative harvested on this very island. And without further ado, a toast to Lesh and the happiness of its residents. Cheers! Now we go on a peach bender. I need to check something. Something seems off here. I almost feel like my stream may have done that thing it does sometimes again. Still going. I didn't think it was still going, but it is. Alright, we're good. Never mind. I feel like I'm on vacation! But we actually get to live here, Hemi. I don't drink too much of that lemon juice. Or that peach juice. It's not lemon juice. What the fuck am I talking about? <laughs> Don't drink too much of that peach juice. juice. God only knows what he put in this. I'm getting some weird vibes out of Nook, Canberra. Just some weird, weird vibes. Party around the campfire on this on a deserted island. Now, wow, now this rocks, nah? Huh? Flash, Flash. What a great name! It just rolls off the tongue. Thank you for offering such a wonderful idea to the group. Ah, uh, Cap. Having a good time, yes? Now I know this is all a bit much, so if you feel like taking a short nap in your tent, by all means go ahead. But keep the fire burning. I'm not tired yet. Yes, yes. I should have known you would have plenty of energy. Well, enjoy the moment. Stop by and see me for a quick chat before you turn in. I have something to give you. You handled your task perfectly. You got a nice campfire going. 
and now I will go drown myself for breaking the hammy stand. Now what we need to do is we need to steal all the peaches before everyone else gets them. Wait, what 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 else am I picking up? Oh, clumps of weeds. Apparently I can pick up everything that's not nailed down. That's interesting. Well, I guess we'll just have a chat with him and then go to bed. Maybe I'll go do that. Sounds good to me. But first, you'll probably want this. Gee, thanks. Your very own camping cot. Oh, oh, it's a... I thought he just gave me a leaf. You want to settle up in your tent before you lie down. Oh, and there are a few packages waiting in your tent as well. Just a few items that might be useful. You open packages and use the things inside. Press it. And when you're ready, you can move that to crawl into bed. Another big day ahead of us tomorrow, so rest up as much as you can tonight. Yes, yes, that's all for me for now. Sweet dreams, Cap. Hurry. Coral. Coral. Hey, let's go uh, beachcombing before I go to bed. Run, you sleepy bastard, you. What's what's that? Something is spraying stuff out of the beach. Or is that just me? Wait, what? Oh cool. Oh yeah. I gotta ruin all the grass. In the spirit of cooperation, I'm going to steal all the resources so nobody else can use them. Wait, that, that's not how that works, right? I have no idea how this game works. I presume I can craft things with the stuff I pick up? I guess I'll find out. Okay, that must be the game's chat function. Well, let's hit the hay. Good there. Portable radio. Camping gun. So can I like move that elsewhere or does it just land in one specific spot? Welcome Horizons is currently playing. I'll leave on. So if I drop it here, will it go... Okay, alright. So I can change the direction of where it is based on which way I'm facing. Makes sense. I have a random shell! Rest my head for a little while. Sure. Getting sleepy. I wake up and realize that I've just been on a bender. 
And these aren't like talking animals, they're just regular animals. Oh god, what am I doing out here? So, it looks like you've decided to make your own way in the world. Get out there, explore new frontiers. It's all the way right, Daddy-o. You don't need to live by anyone's rules but your own. The world was made for exploring, you know? Living free, being out there, it's a great feeling. Yeah. But take it from a cat who's been on the road, being by your lonesome can grind on the soul. Gotta make friends along the way. Rambling this crazy world is Squaresville without some pals. What time period are you from? Yeah, man, friends are where it's at. Speaking of rambling, I'm doing a bit of that myself. My bad. Maybe it's about time for you to wake up to your new life. Oh, but listen up. Rap I gave you about just gave you about friends is pretty key. You'll dig this island life a whole lot more if you share it with some friends. If that's your scene. Yeah. An island paradise with your best pal sounds pretty groovy to me. Cool. When you wake up, you'll be in sync with real time. Dig that island life, and I'll catch you later. Welcome to the real world. Yep. Are you in there? Oh, I hope I haven't woken you abruptly. I don't know, the radio is... Yeah, KK, KK is a cool cat. You got that right, Baked. Also, welcome to the stream. Alright, uh, but I do wish to discuss something with you. Yes, yes, I'll be here when you're ready. I'll just leave my radio blaring. Drain that battery. Ah, oh, there you are! I hope you had a pleasant nap. Oh, well, I suppose it was a bit more than a nap, wasn't it? It's a brand new day! I slept that long? What year is this? Oh, yes. It's quite normal to be so, to be worn out from such a long trip and a major life event. The major life event being him trapping me on this island in servitude. Speaking of which, I have a few more things that you might find useful as you adjust to life in our little paradise. First, you'll need one of these, yes? It's your very own Nook phone! I had these made especially for island residents, because I presume he stole my phone and took it away before we got here. I'm going to give you this phone that I can spy on you with. And you can only contact other people on this island, and that's it. No need to call the authorities, they're not needed. I want to make sure it's working right. Can you try turning it on for me, hmm? Good, good. Looks like you're getting good reception as well. Where's where's the tower for this thing? <laughs> yes, pulls out a whip. Now I need to I need you to get to work harvesting all the peaches on this island. Tom Nook becomes a tropical peach baron. Where's the, where's the tower for this thing that I'm getting good reception? Okay, feel free to put it away now. Say, Cap, have you ever used a smartphone before? Well, to be honest, I was quite the late adopter to smartphones, so... I mean, I only got one, like, what, two, three years ago? I have one of my own! Very good. Then this should be a breeze for you. In fact, I think you'll find it much more useful than the phone you already have. I have one more thing for you. It's your itemized bill! Oh, and this is where it begins! So this includes everything. Airfare, accommodations, labor, tax, and of course your Nook phone. Bring your grand total to the modest sum of 49,800 bells. What are bells? Oh yeah, no baked. I was rocking a flip phone for years. I didn't even get a cell phone until I absolutely needed one. 
Like, I, I am probably one of the few people who now remembers having to use payphones all the time, because when I first moved into this city, that's all I ever used. Like, I'd either use the home phones of wherever I was going, or, like, my brother who I was living with at the time, or if I needed to, like, call anybody while I was out and about, I used a payphone. And that was back in 2006, so... So I was... 21, I think? When I got a cell phone? I think. I think 21, yeah. And the first one I got, I hung on to that until it completely fell apart on me. By the time I, uh, by the time I decided I could no longer use it anymore, it, like, the screen was cracked and I think all but two buttons stopped working. How did I surf Facebook with my laptop? Facebook something else? Well, no, no, I suppose I started using Facebook probably... 2006. Yeah, that's, that's probably about when I started. I don't really use it anymore, but... <laughs> oh, good one, Cap. Wait, you're being serious? Yes, of course. I can't believe I didn't think of this. Well, bells are a currency that can be exchanged for goods or services here on Lesh. Ah, but there's still still the problem that you don't actually have any. Yes, of course. Oh, now that I think of it, the funny thing is, the very first cell phone that I had, I think it's still here somewhere because I never throw anything away. I think I po poked it away in an electronics drawer somewhere. If I find the thing, I'll actually have to take a picture of it or at least show it on stream and be like, yes, this is the first cell phone I ever used. I had it for years and I used it until it broke. The same can be said for the other one I had. Because I ended up having two flip phones, and then I upgraded to a uh, older model smartphone a couple of years ago. And I'm going to be using that until the falls burn on me. Ah oh, yes, but ah, uh, there's still the problem that you don't actually have any. Yes, of course. Oh, no need to worry. I was prepared for exactly this type of tricky situation. You had yours until a year or two ago also? <laughs> See? You can't talk. I know, man. I just didn't really need one. The only reason I ended up getting a cell phone afterwards is because I ended up moving to a house that didn't have a landline. That's the only reason I got one. I would have held out longer otherwise. For the getaway package, you can pay your fees with miles instead of the standard bells. I call this extremely helpful service the Nook Mileage Program. Nook Mileage? Well, it's quite extraordinary if I do say so myself. With the Nook Mileage Program, you can earn miles by simply living your life here on Lesh. There, so the more you enjoy your island life, the more Nook Miles you can earn. And you can use them to pay back your move-in fees, and much more. So the bottom line is, you need 49,800 bells to pay your move-in fees, but with this new service... Would you believe it? It only comes to... 5,000 miles! I'll just go ahead and register, register you so you can pay a miles. Yes, yes, but there are more details available within your Nook phone. Just open the Nook Miles app. There, there's a... there's a what I could have gotten? Is that a typo or do I just not understand what you're saying? <laughs> I'm an old man, Sonny. I don't understand a lot of words. What is a VoIP? And you'll see that you've earned some miles just for traveling to the island and joining the program. Is it is it going to be 5,000? That'd be nice. Oh, if you excuse me, I must get back to a few other matters. Like brutally subjugating the other two residents of the island. But let me heartily congratulate you once again on your arrival. I'm so happy to have you as a resident of Lesh and a client of Nook Inc.
My new life is underway. I can do whatever I want as long as I pay back my horrible debt. Woohoo! Oh, voice over IP. Okay. It's just phone, but over the internet instead of landline. Yeah, I could have done that, I guess. I was not aware of this. From now on, Island Time will match the flow of time in the real world. Do not touch the power button when you see the autosave indicator on the top right screen corner. You can also save and quit your game after pressing that button. You're old in the Nook Mileage Program. Earn Nook Miles for completing island activities. Then trade those miles for various perks and goods at the Nook Stop in the Residence Servants Center. Make the most out of island life, earn Nook Miles. Okay. Again, this this is just something I was never aware of before. You learn something new every day. Flesh miles. I, I I feel like even though I love the reference, I'm probably going to um eventually regret naming the island this. But there's no turning back now. You traveled a long way just to move to our little island, and you enrolled in the Nook Mileage Program, so you earn your first miles. There are lots of ways to earn miles by just enjoying island life. Oh boy. Angling for perfection. Learning how to fish is an essential skill for living on a remote island. Nook Incorporated encourages all island residents who are aiming to become fishing masters. I don't have a fishing rod. One of the goals of Nook Incorporated is resident togetherness. Our gregarious greetings. Mm, using the big words now, are we, Mr. Tom? Our gregarious greetings initiative aims to reward you with Nook Miles just for chatting with residents. Try to talk to all your neighbors every day. But I don't want to. You've got the bug. Earn miles just for catching creepy crawlies. Every bug you catch is one that won't be surprising. Someone in their sock drawer. Finding flowers makes our island more beautiful. You can earn miles, so grow wild. Yes, yes. Pick up a bunch. You can get miles based on the amount of fruit you sold. Remember, if you sell our island, especially fruits on our islands, might be able to get a better price. Go ahead, be shellfish. You can earn Nook Miles based on the number of seashell seashells you can sell. That's not easy to say. Different amount of bells for different types of shells. More furniture in your house. Photos, edit credits. Okay. I can customize stuff apparently. Taking pictures using various filters and effects. Pictures will be saved in, to the album on the home menu and other users who use the same system will be able to see them. Run away! <laughs> oh. And then a horse shows up and turns into Red Dead Redemption again. Pan up, pan down. I suppose we should actually check the mail. I've been given things from Nintendo, okay. Thank you for downloading the update. We'd like to give you a present show our appreciation. Keep an eye out for future updates as well. Cool. Q 
congratulations on your big move. We hope you enjoy your new island life. To celebrate this fresh start, we'd like to give you a gift that is sure to come in handy. What's in the box? I have a switch. Okay, cool. Simple do-it-yourself workbench. Well, I guess maybe I'll just... throw the switch down in here. I don't think that's good for the switch. Is this a do-it-yourself recipe? I wonder how I can memorize it. A sailor style shirt, denim pants, striped socks, slip-on loafers. Upon closer inspection. These are loafers. Yeah, scrub the floor with your switch. I mean... My living room floor is starting to get pretty dirty. Maybe I just need to take my switch out of this dock and using it as a goddamn broom. Just, just dunk it in like a mop bucket or something and squeegee it around the floor. Considering there's a switch shortage on the go now and people are having difficulties getting the damn things, I'm not sure people will be too happy I do that, destroy my own. We'll take this giant clam, thank you. Let's get a picture of myself with my new beginnings, I guess. I mean, yeah, that's fine, I guess. Too bad you can't do any, like, poses or anything. Frame, cinema, time, date, frame and date, done. Yeah, let's just do that, I guess. Not a terribly interesting photo, but... Good enough to get me some miles. Photogenic photographer, indeed. What else we got here? Custom designs. This app you can create custom designs to wear on clothing or display around the islands. When you save custom designs to the app, you can share the item with other island residents. There's a chance that your custom designs will be seen by other players during network play sessions when you visit another island, for example. Please don't create anything that infringes on others' rights, don't use private information, yours or anyone else's, or offensive words or images. So don't just make a big sign that says FROCK! Airplane flag, desert island flag, broadleaf tree flag. I'll mess about with that later. Okay. Change your photo, title, or comment at any time. Customize them to show off your style. But I have no style. Apparently I'm going to the island and gonna eat me a lot of peaches, because that seems to be all we have. Oh. I can change that too. Alright, cool. Rescue service? Use a service for an emergency situation on the island when your path is blocked and you're stuck. You can be sent to a place such as your home or resident services. Nook malls are generally required to use the service. Um, no, I'm good, thanks. I have not fallen and can't get up. I guess we'll go... talk to my neighbors. 
Oh, hi, Cap. It's great to see you. That campfire was a lot of fun. Keeping resident services open at night, so feel free to stop by if you need to talk about anything. For the time being, I'll be out and about checking in with everyone, seeing how folks are doing. If you're unsure about what you should do, don't hesitate to stop by for a chat. Stop me for a chat. Okay, so I assume I assume these these folks, these these fellas, Timmy and Tommy, are are Nook's kids, I guess. Also, Nook is a Tanuki, which I find funny because I was recently listening to a thing about Tanukis, and of course they're like. They play real heavily into, like, uh, Japanese folklore and mythology and stuff like that. And one of the common physical traits, right? One of the common physical traits of a tanuki is that they have huge... testicles. Let's- let's just call a spade a spade here. Thankfully, that's not something this cutesy game is taking... um... directly from the lore, eh? I don't need Nook dragging his balls all over the island. Looks like no one's here, because she's up here! I'll take the stick. Wow, my heart's really racing. I hope the fish can't hear it. <laughs> Tom Nook has huge balls to entrap people into debt, you got that right. I guess I just have to gather things and sell it? I don't know. Looks like no one's here. Then where the hell is he? Where are you, you buff hamster friend? Oh, you're up there. You trying to fish too? Oh, check me out! I'm gonna catch the biggest, baddest fish on the island, Hammy. Sure you will. Still not enough to pay off my debts. Fire is my friend. Do do do. We'll use this board to post important notices and other useful bits of information for everyone. Yes, yes. Our residents and visitors alike should feel free to use the bulletin board to communicate with each other, celebrate special events, and more. Okay. Ah yes, the old school message boards. Welcome, welcome. As you can see, it's quite cozy in here. It's funny how cozy doesn't always mean comfortable, hmm? Let me know if you need advice on how to spend your time on this island, or anything else. If you need some advice about basic island materials, you should talk to Timmy. He can help you procure some of the essentials for thriving in our little paradise. If you want to earn some bells, he has a rather generous policy of purchasing just about anything. Not strictly impossible from a business perspective, but uh, quite generous, yes, yes. Ah yes, Tom Nook, capitalism personified. <laughs> oh, one more thing. I'm offering a free do-it-yourself workshop that can really uh, that can help you really build out your island experience. I think it would be quite useful, so I do hope you take me up on it. Hmm? Welcome, welcome. You don't waste any time, do you? Oh. Still setting up, but for starters, we intend to offer a small selection of goods for our island residents. Space is limited right now, but we'll try to have some fresh stock each and every day. I'm sure you're busy, but feel free to take a look at some of the items we're thinking of selling. Sure. Great! Candle. Sleeping bag. Cool. Flimsy fishing rod. Flimsy net. Flimsy watering can. Slingshot recipe. Can I sell you things? 
Okay. As Ron's support efforts to beautify the island, I'll even pay you a little bit in return for any weeds or trash that you bring in. Want to know whether we'll buy something? Just ask. I want to sell. I will sell you my weeds. Take these weeds. I'm going to sell you some weed, little tanuki person. Some clumps of weed, sure. How about I offer you 70 bells? Sold. Um... I got a rock. I'll sell you these peaches too while I'm at it. Hot damn! Flimsy fishing rod, here I come! Oh, before I forget, I wanted to tell you something about the fruit you just sold me. When you eat food like fruit, you'll find yourself energized with more power than you might have imagined. <laughs> more power than you can possibly imagine! Unlimited power! Yes. Has anyone shared that with you? So you mean eating gives me energy? Yes. What I mean is, you could break open rocks or maybe even dig up a whole tree if you had the right tool. Now it's fine for you, me, uh, for you to sell me your fruit, but you should try eating it once in a while too. Okay, so I... There we go. Seller of unwanted stuff. Selling things you don't need is a great way to keep down the clutter and earn a few extra bells. In this case, a few extra miles. Hooray! Yeah, so Popeye. I just need to find... Well, maybe I can, like, start growing spinach on the island and I can just start smashing rocks with my massive tumor-like forearms. I uh, have anything else I want to sell? No, I'm good. One thing I don't necessarily like is it doesn't really seem like the buying and selling is part- of, They're like their own separate menus, so you gotta back out of it and go back in again. I kind of think it'd be a lot more streamlined if you could do it all in the one go. <laughs> yes, massive boss. <laughs> now, eating the spinach causes your forearms to do that. Eating peaches causes the other. Yeah. Hey, good, good, good. <laughs> Yeah, so, you know, spinach for forearms you can crack rocks with, peaches for, um, increased testicular fortitude, yes. Interested in a fishing rod? You can build one for free, you know, in prison. Oh, I did not know that. No, I am not. Need to conserve all the money I can, you weird little Timmy fella. All right, Nook. What would you like to talk to me about? I'm all ears. About that workshop. Yes, yes, the do-it-yourself workshop. Each participant will make and keep their own tools and receive a set of DIY recipes. I think it will be quite useful for island life, hmm? So shall I put you down for the next available lesson? Does DIY mean? Oh, of course. DIY is short for do it yourself. It's a way for you to create your own goods, like furniture and tools, from scratch. Look, Incorporated has never given away something of such value for free before, but it's a new world. I'm assuming Nook has actually come out to the island because he's been run out of town and he's just trying to con a bunch of people to come out and work for him. Like, they got too tired of him dicking people over financially. Oh, 
I'd love to. Yes, yes, that's the island spirit. I happen to be free right this very moment, so let's get started. Yes, probable nook backstory. Yes, his predatory loan sharking and business dealings caused a riot, and then he had to run. Run like a son of a bitch. So I was like, oh, I'll just set up my own fiefdom on a deserted island somewhere and get all these suckers to work for me, and I'll be back on top. I suppose Workshop is overselling it a bit, hmm? When you see how simple it is to DIY, or do it yourself, you understand what I mean. Basic idea is to gather materials, follow a recipe, and then craft using a workbench like this one. So today we'll be constructing a fishing rod using common materials that you can find in the yes. For this particular recipe, we require a mere five tree branches. It is admittedly a little flimsy. Do, do I already have those? I do! Here's your stinking branches. Unnecessary materials, hmm? Well then, let's get started on crafting that fishing rod. Yes, yes. To begin, just select a project from the workbench and get started. Go ahead, give it a try. Let's see fishing rod. Okay. So intense! I made a flimsy fishing rod! Yes, that was perfect! As you can see, crafting is quite simple, provided you have the correct recipes. That concludes my free DIY workshop. Oh, there's just one last thing. I have a few common DIY recipes for you. Free of charge, naturally. Just need to send them to your Nook phone. Would you mind opening up? It's killing him that he's giving me shit for free. Splendid, thank you. The DIY app is now installed on your phone. And ready for you- so he can install- he can control my phone from his. That- that seems very disconcerting. The flimsy fishing rod you just crafted is yours to keep. It may not last forever, but it should serve you well for a little while at least. Speaking of fishing, I am no master angler, but perhaps I can give you a few tips. Hmm? In my experience, you should aim in front of the shadow of a fish when you cast your line. Yes, yes. I would love to see anything you manage to catch. I'm quite curious about the local fauna. Campfire, flimsy nets. Don't have enough uh, branches. So can I learn this now? Yeah, okay. Sweet! I learned a DIY recipe for a simple DIY workbench. Madness! Yes, just don't use your smartphone to Google how to kill a tanuki. <laughs> Sedition! Treason! I'll be tossed on the bonfire outside. Oh, how silly of, me, silly of me to forget. I need to give you a brief introduction to that box there. It's my box of mystery. That is a recycle box for all the island residents to use. We'll be using it for items removed during construction and such. Yes, yes, if you see anything you like, feel free to take it on right on home. If the box gets full, we'll get rid of the oldest items first, so don't delay in picking out what you want. I will take all your trash. One man's trash is going to be become my trash. The hell is this thing? I should give you a brief introduction to that terminal as well. That is our Nook Stop. It's a terminal for services that will further enhance your island life. At the moment, you can use two services. Cap. The first is Nook Shopping. It's a catalog shopping service for items that can be hard to find on an island. Second, this terminal serves as an automatic bill dispenser, or ABD, from the Bank of Nook. He runs his own bank. We're also working on a service by which you'll be able to redeem Nook miles for various things. Please take advantage of these wonderful services. Quite beneficial indeed. Yes, yes. Huh, 
once per day, accessing the Nook Stop will award you bonus daily miles. Um, there's that, at least. Please select from the following services. Drawing rack. Rain hat. Sporty shades. Bonjour. Konnichiwa. Denim pants. I already have those. Space KK! <laughs> Bitchin. I gotta get me that Space KK thing. I mean, I guess I just need to go start gathering and fishing and shit so I can, um... Make some money. Fish! How do I do? Okay. Are you going to tell me how to fish? Oh no, that's fine, you helped me pick from my tent. Thanks for the push. Alright, I got something here for you, Hemi. Thanks again for finding a place for my... place. That denim cap is perfect for lesh. Okay. Thank you, Hemi. You're not going to be the first person I drown in the river. Sweet. I mean, it's not 100% my style, but I'll take it. So do I just toss it in and hope for the best? Is that how this works? <laughs> Mom fish, you know you want to be hauled from the briny depths. I will- I will just ask one question, seeing as how you're offering. How does it work? <laughs> That's... That's <laughs> Cause I'm still stuck on the way uh, Red Dead Redemption does it. No. So do I need to wait for it to nibble a bunch first and then, um... Let's have a chat with you. I wonder what kind of fish I'm gonna meet today. I hope they're nice. Oh, okay. Press as soon as it's completely submerged. Gotcha. That makes sense. I gotta get or craft a net at some point. I guess I'll just pick up a bunch of weeds, sell him some trash. Alright, well, thanks for that tip. I see another fish. I'm gonna have to try that then. So what you're telling me is the fishing mechanic in this is not quite as in-depth as something like Red Dead. <laughs> I don't really see any, so let's put that away for now. Yeah, what's the other thing I have? Oh, cardboard box.
let's go sell off some more stuff, get me some more precious precious bells, and then see the stuff I need to make more things. Hey, what are you doing down here? Did you have lunch? What's the latest? Hey, isn't that the head I gave you? Looks great. Really shows off your head muscle. You calling me stupid? Call me a muscle brain? I am flabby, soft, and weak. I, I don't know why I'm bragging about that, but... What should I do? Yes, yes, that is the question. Well, this island is a diverse habitat for many interesting creatures, you know. Other than us, ho ho. And you, strange human person. Yes, yes, you can catch all kinds of insects and fish if you practice with your net and fishing rod. I'd be most curious to see any creatures that you do catch, hmm? By all means, bring them to me. Sure thing. Take my trash. Also, maybe these peaches. No, I'll hang on to the other stuff just in case I need them for crafting or whatnot. Look at all the fine things you brought me today. Cool. Alright, so what do we need? I got enough for the uh, net. What do I need for the workbench? Hardwood and iron nugget. Okay. I, I have no idea how to get those. Make a net, see if we can catch some bugs. All done for now. Gave me nothing. <laughs> I had to be a jerk about it. At least the little hamster fellow gave me a hat. Yes! I caught a tiger butterfly. I've earned my stripes. Ha ha ha. Hilarious. There we go. Yellow butterfly! Shouldn't all butterflies be yellow? Oh, so this game is going to use that kind of humor, huh? Alright then. Eh. He's a net swinging madman! Looks like no one's here. Oh, well, let's see if I can actually do some more fishing. By which I mean, let's see if I can actually catch something for a change. Oh, there's something. Be very, very quiet. Fish! <clears throat> That's right, you see it, don't you? Take the bait. Take the bait. <laughs> yes! I got a pale chub! That name seems a bit judgy. <laughs> Just hole and chub out of the water. I know you don't hand me that fish's mind. I waited too long. Nope. Get back here, bug!
That's not what I meant to do. I caught a darner dragonfly. It better watch its mouth. Snitches get stitches, dragonfly. First, I thought he was real happy because I smacked him in the face with a butterfly net. Oh, there's a good one. This isn't going to work. No, you need to swim down here. We need to be friends. That's right. Here you come. You see it. <laughs> if I bludgeon it with the bobber, maybe I can catch it. Not a hell of a... I feel like I was going to say something, but I got horribly distracted for some reason. <laughs> I can claim some more miles by the look of it. Well, no, but I've unlocked other things I can do to get more miles, yes. Wait, no, I remember what it was. It was about the fish. Okay, so all these animals are sentient, clothes-wearing, respectable citizens, from what I can tell, except for this bastard here. But what about the fish? So we got no suited fish walking around on dry land? Like, you know. I don't know, it's just strange. It seems strange to me. These rules are arbitrary about who wears the pants and who doesn't. But not all of these animals are wearing pants, so... Yeah, some have evolved, others maybe not so much. I found a creature! Oh, oh, splendid! Let's have a look. I found a creature. It's you. Look at this pale chub. <laughs> I'm gonna be showing Tom Nook my pale chub. Oh, wait, no. I'll get Boodle off the island for that. Although maybe he'll be more receptive to it than I would like. Ugh. If this island can support a pale chub. Why, who knows what other fantastic creatures we might find living here. I have an idea. An old friend of mine runs a museum. I'd love to send it to him for a closer look. Would you be okay with that? Sure. Thank you. I promise that I'll take extra good care of you. <laughs> you damn well better take extra good care of my pale chub. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. This is in no way tied to your generous donation just now, but I have a useful app to show you. Sure. Fritterpedia. I sent you the Critterpedia app. It's a terrific resource for an aspiring island researcher such as yourself. With this one app, you'll get all the important details about the bugs and fish you catch. Yes, yes. I do hope you'll continue to fill it up with your discoveries and share them with me, too. Sure I'm able to come up with some kind of additional reward, hmm? I have other creatures. Okay, no problem, Baked. I was actually probably going to stop in another, like, half hour anyway, but thanks for stopping by all the same. And thanks for the, uh, the fishing tip. So, uh, I'll see you later. I find a creature! Another creature? 
Well, let's have a look at that one as well. What a catch! I do believe this is a darner dragonfly! Do you want to send this magnificent creature along to my museum curating friend as well? Sure. Thank you. Thank you. So I'll take extra good care of your darner dragonfly. I have? That's great! Come to think of it, I've seen you tinkering around a bit over there. Keep up the good work. That reminds me, I've been meaning to share more DIY recipes with you. Mind turning on your phone? Sent you a number of DIY recipes that require wood, along with the recipe to craft an axe. Yes, yes, I think an axe would come in quite useful on this island. So many other things are made of wood. So, so, so we're going to deforest the island. There's not that many trees on here. Tiger Butterfly. I have a proper reward for you this time. About friggin' time. What's this? Giving you a red pensy bag. Just a little sampling of a product we sell. Go ahead and do some planting, and after a few days, you'll have beautiful, 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 beautiful blooming flowers. Give it a whirl. If you enjoy gardening, stop by and buy more. Keep bringing me new discoveries to examine. It's all part of the island experience. Yes. Yellow butterfly! Oh, what a catch! I do believe this is a yellow butterfly. What was your first clue? I like how every now and then the weird Animal Crossing gibberish actually does sound like words because the thank you did sound like a thank you. I forgot to mention something. The flowers that grow will be very strong. They'll spring up even if you just plant them and forget them. Ah, but if you water them each day, that's where the magic happens. Watering opens up the possibility of propagating and crossbreeding your flowers to develop rare colors. Indeed. And how might you water them, you ask? Well, I've just sent you the DIY recipe for a watering can. My accountant warned me, uh, warned me about giving this sort of thing away for free. But you've collected rare cre collected creatures from me, Cap, so this is just part of the island give and take. Okay. Getting ever closer to paying off my horrible debt. It's not that horrible, though. I was honestly expecting worse. Alright, so what we got now? Workbench. Oh, I can make a birdhouse. Cool. Wooden softwoods. Log stakes. Wood. Flimsy axe, tree branch, and stone. Softwood. Tiki torch! Nice. Well, Alright, I just gotta get to gathering up some more stuff and, um, you know, making the things. Gathering stuff and making the things. Well, mainly I need to collect more tree branches. I wonder, can I just let the butterfly loose in the tent? Throw it off! Okay then. Place it. 
There's no room to put anything in here. You sure about that? I guess I'll put them over here. There we go. He's my new friend. I would prefer his company over everybody else on this island, to be honest. Now what? Board reward. Put more furniture in your house. Okay. Cool. I thought I've got a hell of a lot of room, but you know. All right, let's uh, find some more sticks so I can make an axe and just cut down everything. Yes, give me the gift of branches. They will be your doom. Oh crap. Run away! Oh, wow, wow, I got stung by wasps. Doesn't matter, this is mine now. What can I do with that, I wonder? that? Oh boy, money tree. You're not going to meet any fish because you're terrible at this, Canberra. Kind of whiteboard, of all things? Took phone life. I see. Was oh, there something else? Shady shakedown. I think I need, what, one more? No, two more sticks. What are you doing? Yeah, um, maybe you're going for a new look, but that seems a little extreme. But I've got you, it's definitely not been skipping stinger day. I didn't want to mess up my aerodynamics? I'm sure I had to make medicine. It's easy to do, and this island's got everything you need. Oh, thanks. Painting really cuts into your laptops? I like you, Hammy. You're staying. When I end up revolting against Nook and taking over this island for my own, you are not going to be put to the stake. Canberra, on the other hand. Oh, one more and I can make an axe. Come on, stick. Alright, let's make an axe and some medicine, I guess. Ah, there we go. 
Uh, medicine. I need a wasp nest to make medicine? Interesting. Well, let's craft it, I guess. <clears throat> I made some medicine! Make that in an axe. I made a flimsy axe. Oh, I should probably ask him about my debt too. About my moving fees. Like to pay your moving fees? Well, you owe five thousand miles, so let's talk when you've had a chance to earn a few more miles. Hmm? There's no need to rush. I'd like to get all the free labor I possibly can out of you. I mean, enjoy yourself. Hooray! I look I don't look like someone bells at me in the face anymore. Now let's chop down this tree, it's blocking my view. Oh, you don't actually just straight up chop down the tree. Hardwoods. You just knock wood out of the tree, apparently. Also, let's eat a peach. Going to the islands, gonna eat me a lot of peaches. So how does this work, I wonder? It's like a gauge of some kind? Regular old woods. So there's more hardwood. It might be softwood. Okay, so yeah, it's three at a time, it seems. But yeah, I still have that stupid cardboard box. Swing and a miss! Seems like hardwood is definitely a common thing. These butterflies are new. Get back here! Yes! I caught a common butterfly. They often flutter by. Caught a common blue bottle. Put it in a rare green jar. Let's uh, give these to Nook and see what other things I can make. I gotta stop soon, but um, see if I can make some more stuff. Hello, hello! I'd like to talk to me about. I found some creatures! picturing that his museum curating friend is just some sort of like, you know, weird, weird, weird ass new age medicine kind of guy and he's like grinding these things up as aphrodisiacs or something. Blathers, is that you? Ho oh, ho, what splendid timing. Yes, yes. Do you remember the venture we discussed? Well, it's come to fruition. Currently stationed on an island that we've decided to call Leshp. Yes, yes. The local fauna are as abundant as expected, just as I told you. Mm hmm How many precisely do you ask? Well, there's no way of knowing just yet. But I have received, let's see, five outstanding specimens so far. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What? Seriously? 
Well, that is very exciting. Oh, but you'll have to excuse me. I'm with a customer right now. I'm with a sucker right now. That was my friend Blathers, the one who curates the museum. Believe it or not, he's going to come to our island and help us identify and preserve the local creatures. I could use your help, Cap. Since you've done so much scouting and collecting already, would you be able to help find a spot for Blathers? We need a good-sized space to really build out a world-class museum, so do keep that in mind. I'd like to put that somewhere across the river, though, and I can't quite get there yet. But I have another creature for you. It's good to be good, yes, yes. Okay. Alright, so what we got up here, huh? What can I make? Uh, I need more softwood to make a watering can. Do, 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 do. What do I need to make a tiki torch? Tree branches, which I don't have. Random log stakes. Mmm, steak. And so I guess I just need to keep going until I can find some more softwood. the peaches. What's happening now? Ah, oh, there we go. Rough hewn. Well, okay. Cool beans. I guess this game is like 90% resource gathering. Let's see another peach, why not? I did not mean to drop it. Nom nom. She'll be the world's greatest exporter of butt fruit. I don't eat them all. Also, if Animal Crossing me is anything like real me, then this is incredibly dangerous running around with a crude makeshift axe on account of the fact that I'm not wearing any glasses and I can't see for shit without my glasses. Surprised I haven't lodged this in somebody's head yet. What? I'm willing to bet that's probably what the slingshot is for. I do not have a slingshot, however. Yeah, fishy, fishy, fishy.
Take the bait. Take the bait. Come on. I caught a fresh water goby. Time to go bye bye. The thing is, I don't think I can actually give any more to him. I probably need to set up, um, set up a space for the museum. I'd really like to put it across the river, but I don't think I can yet. Yeah, he won't, um... Won't view any more specimens. Oh yeah, tree branches, that's the thing I need. Um, but do I can make a watering can though. Let's make that. <laughs> Run out and shake down some trees, see if I can find some more branches. Maybe some more wasps to destroy my soul. That nah, doesn't look like it. No problem making more money though. Ah, there we go. See, Canberra's been having a very boring day. Trying and failing to catch fish. Says the man who's running around and shaking every tree he can find to find more branches. Uh, I need one more. There we go. So I see I've run out of inventory space. I better go sell off some extra crap I've got. Maybe some weeds. Go deal in weed to the young Tanuki. I know you old man. Is a bit of a jerk. This will take the edge off. So what's in here? Nothing. All right. Well, let's see. I'll give you. Will I give you? Oh yeah, the weeds. Let's see if I can make that torch. Tiki torch! That'll do for the moment. Let's see if I can buy something a bit better than this friggin' sailor suit I'm wearing. Sleeping bag. Yeah, he's probably not selling anything in terms of clothing. A slingshot recipe probably wouldn't be bad. Don't look so shocked that I don't want to buy any of your shoddy products! It's 
Forty Shades, Bonjour, Denim Pants, Rain Boots, Space KK. Oh yeah, Space KK was one of the... I don't know, there's nothing really here that's speaking to me. Alright. Well, I've got to go now in a moment anyway, so let's go plop down this tiki torch out by my tent and then probably plant those flowers I was given, and uh, yeah. I'll probably do for now. It's not bad. Oh wait, I didn't mean to do that. Thought I could like activate it or something. There we go. That's not where I meant to plant that. Why is it there? Why did it go there? Alright, goddammit, let's try to plant some up here. That's more like it. Be nice if they give you a bit of a clearer idea where things would go when you planted them. Yes, on the salty beach. That's exactly where plants grow. This is how it works. Good job. Good job. Save an end. Alright, well that'll have to do for right now. I've got to be moving right along. Saving. Do not touch. Save complete. See you later. See you later. All right. Well, that was pretty fun, actually. I mean, it was very low key and laid back in comparison to a lot of the other things I've streamed lately. But hey, you know what? It was good. It was good. It, I felt like it was a good day for it. I say that now. And after playing this, I look out the window and it's overcast again. Maybe it's going to start raining soon. Who knows? But yeah, um, I don't know. I'm, I'm enjoying it. I don't know if I'm going to stream it again tomorrow. Maybe not. I might just spend a bit of time running around gathering resources and stuff. I feel like this is something I'm going to be playing off stream a lot. But um, yeah, because seeing as how it does kind of go on a day to day basis. So anyway, if you happen to stop by to watch, as always, I thank you very much for doing so. And hopefully you will join me again, which will probably be tomorrow and probably be more Resident Evil 2. Until then, however, I wish you a farewell. And as always, hope you have a great day. Bye bye for now.